going to be our last fight and our final of the women's under 57 kilos. And uh, Miriam Ropa of Germany in white, who's been outstanding, but she's up against again Yamamoto of Japan in the blue, who's also had a brilliant day today. So this is going to be a very tough match, but um, I think my money's on Ropa because she's been outstanding. And uh, I think it's just her day today. Is this going to be the second gold medal for her in the World Cup? Bulgaria taking the gold there in the Women's World Cup. The, the biggest threat will be will be the Ashiwazas of Yamamoto, who's been outstanding with that, and so that's the dangerous. Ropa, quite a leggy athlete, uses the Uchimata and the Oso Tagaris, but can leave herself open. And if you're up against someone who's got fantastic as she was, as then this is um, the danger. Twenty-nine years of age, Ropa. Very experienced fighter. And as I said, gold medalist in Sofia a couple of weeks ago, and in Paris took a fifth place just last week. So she's piling up the results and those medals under a belt in preparation for the Olympic Games. It's got to be a, a favorite for, for Germany. In the World Championships in Paris, a fifth place. So she's thereabouts in the results and medals position. Still very tight. Neither one really wanting to commit too much at this moment. But uh, staying comfortable both, just doing enough without picking up any shidos. Still tension here in the arena. Not knowing there's the Ashiko Chigari there, and that's one of the favorite attacks there for Yamamoto. trying to capitalize down there in the Niwaza. Very good, the turnovers. But um, as we've seen in the past, Germany are very strong overall athletes, both Tachiwaza and Niwaza. attack there. But Yamamoto, only 17 years of age, so 11 years a junior of Ropa. So 
A lot of experience behind this young lady from Germany. World Cup master. In the Grand Slam in Tokyo last year took a third place in the 57 and at the Junior World Championships was world champion. So even though she's only 17 years of age, she's, she packs a punch there and she can stand her own. But the All Japan Championships of 52s and has just really moved up into the 57 kilos and already she's made her mark in this weight category. Sure, we're going to see a lot more of Yamamoto to come. Junior world champion, 17 years of age, and 11, 12 years the junior of Miriam Ropa. She competes again just now. So, is it going to be the experienced fighter or is it going to be Yamamoto? Well, Wazari up, and she's in a great position. Oh, yes! And a fantastic change of direction there. Ochigarian swings right through how she managed to maneuver herself in for the drop Cienaghi is beyond me but fantastic change of direction there with very limited movement there Ochigarian as you can see the counter was to try and take her back and what she did was just turn right underneath and changed it to a Mor Morote Cienaghi so now looking for the Niwaza again 37 seconds on the clock and a Wazari up and Yamamoto 17 years of age world champion junior world champion and Grand Slam bronze medalist in Japan Tokyo yes. a move up from 52s into 57s has already now really put in her mark on this weight category and definitely someone to be watching in the near future 10 seconds to go and it looks like Yamamoto is really and it is now it's um, the final end for what's been a really good day for Miriam Ropa of Germany but has to come to terms with a silver medal at this weekend and so no double gold in the World Cups to match the one she got in Bulgaria Sofia but still a fantastic result and a brilliant finish for a very young Yamamoto, 17, and the World Cup champion for Hungary. So I'm sure you'll agree with me, there's been some exciting matches, and that was a lovely finish to what has been a very exciting and interesting day of judo. And it just shows you that, I mean, and what is to come in London at the Olympic Games. It makes you quite excited and um, to think what we have in store for us. But um, finally, I would just like to say.